Chapter 622 Conclusion. The door to the leftmost wooden house had opened. There was a lady at the door. She was simply dressed, and she was sobbing. She was holding onto the door as if she might fall down at the next moment. Her beauty was gentle and fragile, but it was one to be admired. She appeared old, but she was still ravishing. Mom. Who are you? I suddenly shouted. He leapt forward, and it felt as if he had completely lost control. He hugged the lady's leg tightly and started bawling. Yes, this lady was his pitiful mother. Who are you? Zhu Zuking glared at Dai Mubai and her eyes turned slightly red. You're so bad. Why do you have to be so extra? Dai Mubai chuckled. No wonder he's my descendant. He has a backbone. I like kids like this. At least he didn't waste my efforts. Good kid. Very good. Very good. This time, Oscar was so envious that his eyes turned red. Ha 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 ha. Who are you? I didn't expect to completely lose control of his emotions when he saw his mother. The emotions that he had been suppressing for years were now released. Even Tang Wutong's departure and the repeated tortures that he was subjected to never once made him cry like this. Who are you? Gently caressed her son's head. Her tears were also flowing down her cheeks. She wanted to pull Who are you up, but how would she have the strength to? Daima Bai came to his side and pulled him up from the ground after he had cried for some time. You're a big man. Just vent for a moment and everything will be fine. This is a joyous occasion. You should be happy. As he spoke, he even patted Who are you back. His vigorous divine power surged into his body and calmed him down. Elder, thanks for fulfilling my wish. If Who are you didn't know what was going on now, he would be a fool. He fell to the ground and cowed out three times. Daima Bai let him do this. There was a grin on his face and he felt slightly proud. He was so delighted that there was no way anything could beat this. Yes. Anyone would be delighted to have a descendant like Huo Yuao. Get up. Daima Bai waved his hand. This time, it was Yu Zuking who lifted Huo Yuao up from the ground. Daima Bai said, Now that you and your mother have been reunited, are you still called Huo Yuao? Yuna, I shall hand this matter over to you. Yes, elder. Who are Yuna acknowledged as she sobbed. There was a look of gratitude in her eyes. Yu Zuking smiled and said, You and your mom have been separated for so long. Both of you must have a lot to talk about. Go into the house and chat. Go on. Yes. Who are you? I hurriedly acknowledged her words. He only felt as if there was something stuck in his throat. His mind was also a mess. To him, this was too much. He didn't think anything else was important now. He only wanted to stay by his mother's side. Who are you? I squatted down to hug his mother after they entered the house. However, he stopped his tears from flowing any further. Who are you? I gently caressed his hair and said in a daze. My Yuao has grown up. He has really grown up. My son, you must have suffered a lot over these years. Who are you? I shook his head. Of course he had been through a lot. However, that wasn't important now. What were they considered compared to the revival of his mother? He had a lot of things to say to his mother. However, he didn't know what to say right now. He had been an orphan for so many years, but he was a son once again. It was such a precious feeling. Both of them just hugged each other like this. Gradually, they calmed down. Who are you? told who are you out everything about her. It seemed like who are you had indeed died more than ten years ago. However, who are you possessed abilities that normal gods didn't have as a tier one god? One was that he could bring a limited number of family members to the godly realm. Even Dai Mubai and Jiu couldn't do this. After all, Tang San was an enforcer in the godly realm. Although he couldn't interfere in human affairs, he was still afforded some flexibility when it came to gods. As a result, they found who are spirit after Dai Mubai and Tang San discussed it. They resurrected her and brought her to the godly realm. Although she wasn't even a tier three god, she was still resurrected. Who are you was Dai Mubai's descendant. After Tang San tested who are you and trained him, why would he hide anything from Dai Mubai? This was why Dai Mubai was cognizant of everything regarding who are you He was also aware that who are you was the biggest knot in his heart. It was only by untying this knot that he could really become a god. This was why this happened. However, who are you couldn't bring too many more people into the godly realm. He only had two spots left. One was for who are and another one was the Daihao. The godly realm was very lonely. Hua Yuna had to be rewarded. Hua Yuna couldn't see what happened in the Dulua continent, but she could sense what was happening within a few hundred square kilometers from her grave. These past few days were her happiest days. This was because she heard the voice of the man she loved. The sorrow and hostility in her heart gradually disappeared because of his voice and the good news that Hua Yuan brought. How could she not be relieved after seeing Hua Yuan today? Naturally, Hua Yuan didn't know what had occurred. However, he was filled with gratitude after learning that Dai Mubai had resurrected Hua Yuna. What was more important than his mother's life? After Hua Yuan's emotions had more or less stabilized, he recounted everything that had happened to his mother. Of course, he skipped the parts where he faced a lot of trouble and difficulties. He only told her about the happier things. The godly realm didn't seem to have a day and night cycle. After some time had passed, the doorbell rang. Hua Yuan hurriedly stood up and opened the door. He only saw Dai Mubai standing outside. Elder, who are you out immediately kneel down, but he was stopped by Dai Mubai. All right, there aren't so many formalities in the godly realm. How is it? Has Yuna convinced you? Are you willing to be a Dai now? Don't worry, when your dad comes to the godly realm, I'll punish him on behalf of your mother. That rascal. He gave his all to his empire, but why did he neglect his family? From the start until the end, Hua Yuna didn't mention anything about changing surnames. However, Hua Yuan was clever. There were things that didn't need further explanation. After his mother's resurrection, all his hate and indignation had disappeared. Elder, I'm willing to recognize my ancestry. As he spoke, he kneeled down again. This time, Dai Mubai didn't stop him. He only laughed. All right, all right. In the future, you will be called Dai Yuao. Dai Mubai was rather pleased with this name. He dragged Hua Yuao out of the house into the courtyard. A plethora of scrumptious dishes had already been prepared around the table. Dai Mubai picked up a wine vat and poured himself a bowl before passing it to Hua Yuao. Hua Yuao hurriedly received it. He also poured some wine for Zhu Zuking and his mother. After that, he poured for himself. Dai Mubai picked up his bowl and said, "This meal shall be a celebration of your promotion to a god." Thank you, Elder. Hua Yuao was overjoyed after seeing his mother. He downed his bowl of wine. Dai Mubai also gulped down his wine and laughed heartily. Fantastic. Fantastic. Dai Mubai changed the topic and asked Hua Yuao, "Have you seen Tang San since you came to the godly realm?" Hua Yuao's expression turned bitter. He recounted everything he had encountered since he came to the godly realm. Dai Mubai was also stunned after hearing his words. Hua Yuna appeared very worried. Zhu Zuking snorted and said, "He's rebelled. Let's find him when we return and see what he can do to you." Dai Mubai glared at Zhu Zuking and shot her a look. He said, "I heard Tang San mention this matter before. He's quite unhappy with you. He only has a daughter, and he dotes on her a lot. No wonder he acted like this after what happened. The godly realm places a lot of emphasis on power. You're a tier one god. Defeating him is not possible. However, you must show him that you're strong enough. Only that will appease him and make him think that you can protect his daughter. In fact, you don't have to worry. If he proposes that you must beat him, just do your best. Try to hold on for some time. As for the rest, leave it to us. Yes." Thanks, Elder. After listening to Dai Mubai's words, Hua Yuan felt much more relieved. When he thought of his relationship with Bei Bei and the others, he naturally understood why the previous generation of Shrek Seven Monsters was so close. With two elders on his side, it made his job much easier. After a sumptuous feast, Dai Mubai and Zhu Zuking allowed Hua Yuan to remain in the wooden house. Both of them then brought Hua Yuan to the sky. In the godly realm, the clouds were very low. Undulations of origin energy of heaven and earth would be felt in the clouds. When one breathed, his divine energy would surge in his body. Hua Yuan calmed himself after listening to Dai Mubai's instructions. He adjusted the circulation of
Just give it your all, let's not even talk about whether you can do it, even if you can, it's a good thing for the godly realm. Who are you? I didn't continue. However, he was less feeble than he was before. When he first entered the godly realm, the unfamiliarity left him a little afraid. Fortunately, he met Dai Mubai and Jews looking at this critical moment, which settled him down. His confidence was also slowly coming back. After all, he was the strongest creature in the entire Dulua continent, and he had even defeated the invincible Ditian. Yes, the godly realm brought him pressure. However, he slowly turned it into motivation after he calmed down. Not long afterward, the pavilion hall was already within sight. When he saw it, who are you? I was immediately excited. This was because Tang Wutong was there. No matter what, he had to see her today. He had to explain himself to her. More than ten golden figures blocked him before he even got close. When they saw Dai and Jews looking, they immediately bowed to them and greeted them. While Dai and Jews looking were both tier two gods. They were very close to Tang San. Naturally, they held high statuses in the godly realm. Dai Mubai said, Please invite the sea god out. We have things to talk about. Yes, please wait a minute. One of the men dressed in gold immediately went to report. Very soon, a beam of blue light descended from the sky. It was Tang San. However, he was no longer dressed in red like he was when he had pursued Huo Yuao. He focused his gaze when he saw Huo Yuao. His cold killing intent was immediately revealed. However, it dissipated slightly when he saw Dai Mubai and Jiu looking. Mubai, why are the two of you here? Tang San asked. He appeared a little indifferent. Dai Mubai said, Because of this guy. Little San, you're already so old. Why are you still holding grudges against this guy? I know you don't on Wutong, but you should give him a chance to explain. Tang San nodded and replied, Given our ties, we can agree on anything else. However, there's no resolution for this matter. I only have one daughter, but she was hurt so badly in the mortal world. I won't let him harm Wutong again, unless he can beat me. Dai Mubai groaned furiously. So what if he beats you? Do you really think you're invincible? Yuao, show him your tier one god abilities. Who are Yuao's expression changed slightly. Originally, he had thought that he might really get to see Tang Wutong given Dai Mubai and Jiu Zuking's ties with Tang San. However, who knew that they were going to fight after just a few exchanges? He was really put in the spot. Tang San coldly looked at him. Do you dare to challenge me? Who are Yuao took in a deep breath, then took a step forward. He drifted forward and both to Tang San. I only want to see Wutong once. If you are intent on testing me, I'm willing to give it a go. Tang San suddenly laughed. It was a little disdainful. All right, I really want to see what you've got. A mighty aura was suddenly unleashed. It completely engulfed Huo Yuao. Tang San's gold voice rang in his ears. You only have one chance. I won't kill you on Mabai's account. However, I'll wipe away your memories if you dare to come here again. I'll make you forget Wutong forever. Huo Yuao suddenly opened his eyes wide. Everyone had their trigger. He was the same. Ever since he came to the godly realm, he was constantly pressured by Tang San. He tried his best to adjust his own mentality and didn't dare to disobey him. However, his competitive streak was triggered the moment he heard Tang San's words. To see Wutong, he couldn't care about anything else right now. A strange glow suddenly shone from his body. His entire aura changed. A jade green projection shone behind his back. It was the Ice Empress. The Ice Empress represented fury. A strong intent rose. Who are Yuao's eyes brightened, and his eye of destiny opened. A strange glow was shining inside his eye of destiny. Suddenly, a thorny will of light appeared behind him. It was the night soul ring of his spirit eyes. Thorny halo. Although he was a god now, his soul skills remained. They were even enhanced. Under the effect of his divine sense, Dai Mubai and Jiuzuking could sense the aura that came from his thorny halo. They were both shocked. Immense undulations of divine sense. No wonder he's a tier one god. This thorny halo came from the evil eye tyrant king. Who are you? I didn't even use it when he faced Ditian. This was because he was worried that Ditian would find out that he had absorbed the evil eye tyrant king's soul ring and become more cautious. When he finally used the space time light, Ditian was indeed unable to handle it. This was because he was completely unaware in the first place. Now that he was facing Tang San, how could he dare to hide his powers? Tang San had already made his move. He lifted his right hand while pointing at Who are you? Are. Everything around him turned blue, and a terrifying pressure immediately surfaced. As he retracted his right hand, he flicked his finger. Suddenly, a ball of greenish jade light flew towards Who are you? Are. Although Who are you? I didn't know what skill Tang San was using. He didn't dare to be complacent either. He immediately switched his soul power to ultimate ice. A streak of deep blue light slashed out. It was the unparalleled cold. Emperor sword. Ding. The unparalleled cold, Emperor's sword was instantly crushed and scattered in the air, while that ball of green light still flew towards Huo Yuao. It wasn't quick, but it was terrifying. Tang San was scornful. How dare you try to resist my divine sky green annihilation lightning? Huo Yuao took in a deep breath. He knew that no soul skill would work on Tang San. He focused, and the Ice Empress projection also became clearer behind him. The Ice Empress was looking at Tang San coldly. She didn't care who her opponent was. Her fury surfaced. With Huo Yuao's body as the center, a beam of jade green light shot into the sky and for a slit in the bluish space around Huo Yuao. Huo Yuao took a step forward with his left foot and unleashed his yearning intent. On his forehead, his eye of destiny suddenly turned black and white. After this, two beams of light shot out. The blue in the sky dimmed instantly. Following this, the world of blue turned black and white. A huge vertical eye seemed to support the entire sky. It was drifting behind Huo Yuao. The black and white lights had also filled the entire area. Whether it was Tang San, Dai Mubai, or Jiu King, they were all astonished. It was just that their degree of astonishment varied. It wasn't only them. Even Huo Yuao couldn't believe it. His eye of destiny was actually so strong. Spiritual reaping and destiny's demise. These two divine skills finally revealed their effectiveness in the godly realm. When the two streaks of light hit Tang San, his body started to shine with bright blue light. However, the bright blue light didn't manage to block the two streaks of light. Instead, Tang San's body turned black and white. Meanwhile, the divine sky green annihilation lightning arrived in front of Huo Yuao. Huo Yuao waved his right fist, and Tang Wutong's figure appeared in his eyes. It was his fist of remembrance, packed with anger. Anything that tries to stop me from reaching Wutong shall die in the face of my anger. This was his intent. Boom. The black and white in the sky started to dim after Huo Yuao unleashed his two divine skills. However, jade green light instantly filled the area soon afterward. Huo Yuao only fell a huge green dragon surrounding his body. After this, an unprecedentedly terrifying explosive force was unleashed. That explosive force struck his body and soul, and the excruciating pain made him feel as if he was about to be torn apart. The jade green figure turned into the star anise mysterious ice brass. Happiness quickly engulfed Huo Yuao. The origin energy from the clouds was quickly surging into his body. Star anise ice origin. Immense origin energy of heaven and earth cleansed Huo Yuao's body, restoring the damage done to him. In the distance, Tang San's body shook. He only let out a groan and shuddered at the same time. The black and white undulations on his body also became more intense. However, the black and white disappeared in the next instant. It was just that Tang San appeared a little paler. He's hurt. Was Dai Yuao's first reaction? Yes, Tang San was hurt. Even Tang San didn't expect that Dai Yuao's thorny halo would be so strong. He understood him well enough, but it was Yuao's first time using this thorny halo. The effect of the thorny halo was that 50% of the harm done to him would be reflected on his opponent's spiritual harm. If this were normal circumstances, this wouldn't have hurt Tang San. However, Tang San had been struck by Dai Yuao's spiritual reading. His spiritual defense had been weakened considerably. Good, well done. Tang San said coldly. Dai Yuao anxiously said, It wasn't intentional. I didn't think this would happen, either. You don't have to explain anything. Tang San lifted his hand, and a very familiar beam of light appeared in his palm. The bright gold light shot out. It was the
An angry voice sounded. Following this, lights flashed, and a figure appeared not far in front of Tang San. He grabbed the golden trident. Wasn't he the god of emotions? Nine Rongbing? Tang San scanned him coldly. Suddenly, his golden trident moved again. Another round of golden halos was unleashed. Nine Rongbing was very close, but he didn't expect Tang San to lay his hands on him. He was immediately restrained and couldn't move. Not only this, but more golden halos also started to rise not far away. They trapped Mubai and Ju Zulking. Tang San looked at Nine Rongbing sinisterly and said, What do I want? I want to kill this rascal. What's the timing now? How dare you to shirk your responsibilities? After I kill him, I'll remove my daughter's yearning and wipe away her memories. As for you, you'll regain your position as the god of emotions. You'll remain in the godly realm to aid me. Wait and see how he dies. Yu Nine Rongbing was infuriated. He didn't expect Tang San to be like this. His body shone brightly and he immediately turned to his divine power, trying to escape from the entrapment of the golden halos. However, how could it be easy to escape from the unpredictable storm that Tang San had unleashed using his golden trident? It was the number one control skill in the godly realm. If Nian Rongbing was still a god and prepared, he might have been able to resist it. However, he couldn't escape now, no matter how much he struggled. Tang San was watching Nian Rongbing. Tai Yuao only felt the halos slowly tightening. They went quick, but they were tightening steadily. He had already tapped into whatever divine power he had, but he still couldn't resist the halos. As the pressure increased, Tai Yuao felt his bones slowly cracking. He, he actually wants to wipe away Wutong's memories. He's really going to kill me. Wutong, Wutong. Dai Yuao was shouting frantically in his heart. The divine energy and sense inside his body were being combusted. However, the golden halos were simply too strong. No matter how much he struggled, he couldn't slow them down at all. Dai Yuao was starting to feel a little breathless as the pressure grew heavier and heavier. He even felt his body changing shape. Nine Rongbing seemed to be shouting something at Tang San, but Tang San ignored him. He stabbed his golden trident into the ground and just looked back coldly at Nine Rongbing. Am I about to die? As he was restrained by the golden halos, even his divine sense couldn't escape. He could only wait as he came closer and closer to death. Wutong, Wutong, Dai Yuao screamed frantically inside. He didn't want to die, but he was even more unwilling for Tang Wutong to forget him. The two elders were restrained. So was Nine Rongbing. If he really died, Tang Wutong would forget him forever. He wouldn't be able to see her again. If I can't be with Wutong, what's the point of being a god? If he wasn't going to die in silence, he was going to unleash everything he had. Suddenly, Dai Yuao suddenly lifted his head. An indescribable glow shone from his body. Happiness. The star Anna's mysterious ice for us projection suddenly appeared. Happiness was suddenly unleashed. That immense emotional undulation instantly fused with his divine sense and power. Instantly, it expanded and alleviated the pressure on him. Anger. Feelings of anger were unleashed next. Right now, Dai Yuao was filled with intense anger. He couldn't be with Tang Wutong, and the man that he viewed as his father-in-law was about to kill him. Sorrow. Snowflakes danced, and boundless sorrow spread. Right now, Dai Yuao seemed to have returned to the time when he created his three ultimate Hadam skills. Bliss. Happy memories were always so beautiful. The roommate he had once had, the beautiful pinkish blue fairy during the Sea God's faded blind date, and everything they went through were all beautiful memories in his mind. Hate. Hate was an emotion projecting pain. The day he left the Duke's mansion, he was filled with pain. When he lost Wang Donga and Wang Kua, he was filled with hatred. Hate drove one crazy. Evil. Dai Yuan didn't possess evil and craftiness, but he had sensed the evil of evil soul masters. It was a dark world. Right now, the dirtiest things in his heart were being burned up by evil. Six emotions meant six different outbursts. As his emotions were unleashed, his divine soul was enhanced. The star Anna's mysterious ice grass represented happiness. The ice jade empress scorpion represented anger. The ice beast snow lady represented sorrow. The ice bear king represented bliss. Lee represented hate. And the evil eye tyrant king represented evil. Six light projections appeared separately behind Dai Yuan. At times, they fused together. At times, they separated. Just as they did that, a six colored glow was released. This glow was unbelievably strong, and it managed to force the halos away. Dai Yuan's body also shone with a six colored aura. A huge golden projection suddenly appeared. A golden glow engulfed all six spirits and their six emotions. An indescribable gentleness, wildness, and sense of love surged forth. This was the power of love, Wu Tong. I love you. Dai Yuao shouted. At this moment, his sound waves turned into a rainbow light that struck toward the mighty pavilion in the distance. Dense fog transformed and formed rose in the sky. As he screamed, the halos around his body started to crack. Happiness, anger, sorrow, bliss, love, hate, evil. Finally, the power of love defeated all other emotions and fused with all of them. At this moment, Dai Yuao's divine power and sense, as well as his own spirit, were enhanced. In his heart, Tang San was no longer a barrier. He was also freed of worries and anger. He was only filled with love and yearning for Tang Wutong. Tang San waved his golden trident, and streaks of golden light were released. However, they weren't used to attack Dai Yuao, but to remove the restraints on Dai Mubai and Ju a smile appeared on Tang San's face. He lifted his hand and grabbed Nine Rumbing's shoulder. Nine Rumbing was very grim. He was filled with anger and sorrow. Bang. The golden halos that had restrained Dai Yuao were completely crushed. He broke out, and his rainbow glow turned into seven halos that formed a miraculous wall behind him. His aura was much stronger than it was before. The undulations of the seven emotions kept on surging, fusing with Dai Yuao's divine sense and power. This was the first time he had this sense of control ever since he came to the godly realm. Tang San smiled and nodded as he looked at Yuao. He said, That's more like it. You're looking more and more like my son in law. Dai Yuao was still immersed in his own emotions. After he heard Tang San's words, he was dazed for a moment. Silly kid, why aren't you greeting your father in law? Dai Mabai spoke up from behind him. Dai Yuan yelled subconsciously and bowed to Tang San. Greetings, father in law. Tang San waved his hand and said, Get up. Right now, he was smiling. His long blue hair flowed. His charming looks were captivating. Dai Yuan felt as if he was in a dream when he saw that genial smile. Is he really the father in law who just made things difficult for me? Everything seemed to be very different at this instant. Dai Mabai smiled as he said, Silly kid, if Tang San really wanted to make things difficult for you, do you really think he would be alive now? Ju King was a little indignant as she said, Brother San, weren't you a little too overboard? Tang San smiled and said, Let me explain. He looked at Dai Yuan and said, I already knew about your matter with Chu Zi. You weren't wrong. You were just played by destiny. Although we are gods, we can't interfere with human affairs. Let bygones be bygones. Everything's good as long as you are true to Wutong. I made things difficult for you for a reason. I chose you. I also performed many tests on you. Even for Wang Kua, I separated a streak of Wutong's divine sense and planted it on that three-eyed golden lion. Otherwise, even a destiny god beast wouldn't be so intelligent. That's why you don't have to be too upset over Wang Kua. She's a part of Wutong. It was only after she sacrificed herself that the spiritual sense returned to Wutong and transformed Wang Donga completely into Wutong. After that, someone cut in and tried to make you inherit his godly seat. However, you went through my tests. Although it was not a problem for you to inherit his godly seat, there was still some shortfall when it came to the fusion of skills. It was difficult for you to completely fuse with the god of emotions abilities after you had just entered the godly realm. I used this method to put pressure on you, which would aid your fusion. It seems like it was effective. In the future, you should be able to do better than a certain someone. Rong Nyanbing was furious as he retorted. So you planned all this. It's your scheme. Tang San, you are despicable. You even tricked me into swearing earlier. Tang San appeared very calm as he said, You think it's so easy to snatch my successor? Don't you have to pay a price? Dai
Rong Nyanbing was panting heavily. Tang San grabbed his shoulder and said, All right, don't be mad. Stay and help me, all right? You should know that the godly realm hasn't been so peaceful recently. However, you want to leave now? Are you still a brother? Moreover, you stole my successor and implicated my daughter. What's there to be dissatisfied with? Yu Ao is such a talent. How can I easily find someone else like him? Dai Yu Ao understood now. It turned out that he was under Tang San's control right from the beginning. Perhaps that woodland, so like the great Stardo Forest, was invented by him, and he was baited to meet the two elders and his mother. Dai Mabai laughed. You should see where he inherited his talent from. Little San, quickly let your daughter out. Can't you see that this kid is too anxious? Tang San laughed and said, Go, Yu Ao, Wu Tong is in the pavilion. Follow this path to find her. I don't blame you. As for whether she does, I don't know. Yes, thank you, father-in-law. No matter how indignant he felt now, there was nothing more important than finding Tang Wutong. A beam of golden light spread towards the pavilion in the direction that Tang San pointed. Dai Yuan quickly charged off in that direction. Tang San revealed a heavy look on his face when he saw Dai Yuan disappearing into the clouds. A grown-up daughter won't remain by my side. Rong Nyabing was scoffed scornfully. All right, don't act like you've suffered after you've taken advantage. Don't I know you well enough? The godly realm is full of problems. Your precious son-in-law will help you greatly after he inherits my godly seat. Is there even anywhere else in the godly realm to go? Your daughter won't leave you at all. What's there to whine about? Tang San sighed and said, Nyabing, do you know why I want to keep you here for another thirty years? Rong Nyabing was stunned for a moment. Aren't those guys inconvenienced and want to cause trouble when the two god kings aren't around? Do we have to be scared of them? Tang San shook his head and replied. I'm not too worried about them. No matter what, it's all internal matters in the godly realm. I'm worried about something else. I hold power in the godly realm after the two god kings left. That's why I'm the only one who can sense changes in the godly realm. Within 30 years, I'm afraid there will be massive changes. As for what they'll be, I'm not sure. However, I'm afraid if there's going to be a catastrophe that will destroy the godly realm. What? Rong Nyabing was stunned. He knew that Tang San wasn't one to spout nonsense. Dai Mabai said, Little San, we can overcome any obstacle as long as we come together. Tang San laughed bitterly. I hope so. It's just that this catastrophe won't be that simple. That's why I didn't see my godly seat to you Ao. Nyanbing, do you really think I didn't know that you secretly went to see you Ao? No matter how busy I am, I still wanted my successor. I gave up the opportunity intentionally. I need to maintain my full strength to deal with the future crisis. Rong Nyanbing asked, Can the crisis be averted? Tang San squinted and replied, I can't tell. It'll be difficult. However, there's a chance. We just need to try our best. Rong Nyanbing said, All right. However, there's something I need to advise you first. If you want to deal with the crisis, you need to stabilize things internally first. Okay. Dai Yuan followed the golden light and went deep into the clouds. Everything in front of him became clear. A majestic pavilion was soon in front of him. As he moved in the direction of the golden light, he couldn't be bothered with the majesty of the pavilion. He quickly entered. He immediately saw a guy and a lady sitting in the main hall. They were playing chess. They didn't look very old. The guy was decked out in black and was quite handsome. The lady was also ravishing, and she dressed in white. She appeared very pure. Dai Yuan seemed to have startled them when he entered. They turned their attention to him immediately. The guy stood up and nodded at Dai Yuan. He stepped forward. Hi, my name is Ji Dong. You must be Yuan. Welcome to the judicial committee. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. This is the judicial committee. Dai Yuan was a little astonished. That lady in white also stood up. Ji Dong said, "This is Wu Jinglian. Greetings." Dai Yuan immediately greeted her. Even though he didn't know who either of them were, he knew that their statuses weren't low if this was the judicial committee. Lian smiled and said, "Quickly, go and find Wu Tong. Thanks." Dai Yuan bowed to both of them and went along with the golden light. As she watched him leave, Lian said, "Yuan was a loyal man. He was just like you then." Ji Dong chortled and said, "I suspect Brother Tang San used me as a benchmark to recruit his son-in-law." Lian chortled and said, "You wish?" Ji Dong hugged her and said, "In fact, tasting sweetness after experiencing bitterness is the best. I believe he'll experience that soon." The golden light extended all the way to the top level before it disappeared. There was a door, which Dai Yuan knocked on. "Come in," a gentle female voice responded. It sounded extremely captivating. However, Dai Yuan's expression changed. He knew that it wasn't Tang Wutong's voice. Dai Yuan squinted when he entered. There were two people in the room. One of them was standing, while the other one was seated. The standing lady was in a pink dress. Her long hair braided up. From the side, her slender and smooth neck could be seen. Her dress also accentuated her captivating figure. At this point, she had already turned around. Her ravishing looks left Dai Yuan in shock. As for the lady on the bed, Dai Yuan could see that it was the person he had been yearning for all this while, even though he only saw her profile. Hi, hi. Dai Yuan subconsciously greeted the lady, but his attention was all on Tang Wutong. The lady walked in front of him and carefully sized him up. However, Dai Yuan was still distracted. The lady smiled and said, I'm Xiaowu. However, she appeared very pleased. It was the look the mother in law gave when she approved of her son in law. After that, she gently patted his shoulder before walking past him and closing the door. Wutong. There wasn't anyone else. Dai Yuan couldn't hold it in anymore. He exclaimed and leapt in front of Tang Wutong. Tang Wutong was seated there, but she was expressionless. It was as if someone had frozen her in place. She was completely motionless. Wutong, it's my fault. It's all my fault. Let me explain, okay? Dai Yuan knelt down in front of her and held her slightly cold hands. Tang Wutong appeared more intrigued. She turned to look at him, but there was a lost look in her eyes. Who are you? These three words hammered who are you, Ao? Suddenly, he was very pale. An indescribable sense of fear rose in his heart. He subconsciously let go of Tang Wutong's hands and fell uncontrollably to the floor. He would rather that she scolded or chased him away than to hear her say something like that. Has she lost her memory? Has she lost her memory of me? Does she not know me anymore? Does she not recognize me anymore? The extreme fear left Dai Yuan in chaos. Who are you? Tang Wutong tilted her head and asked again as she looked at him. When she saw the fear in his eyes, Tang Wutong laughed. I remember. You are who are you, Ao, and Dai Yuan. Ao. You are my man, my husband, and the father to my kids in the future. You were the fool outside screaming that you loved me. You are my fool. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.